All right, we're back. Let me make sure that we're good on Twitch. Oh, my thing got uploaded. Cool. Perfect. Okay, come on, video preview. Show me. Is my music still going? Nope, I can start that again. Make sure it's not too loud. Perfect. Okay. Back streaming. So I... Let me just pull it up on my iPad so that I can see me not offline anymore. Hello? <clears throat> Come on. Well, whatever. I guess I'll just get started. Um, so I colored this in with like flat colors and did the line art last time around, which was like a little while ago. And now I'm going to, I guess, just color the lines. That was what I said I was going to do next. That's right. So I'm going to color the lines and then we'll see what happens from there. Coloring the lines is definitely going to be the first step. Oh, I can hear myself. Gross. Okay. <laughs> so first what I'm going to do is copy the line art, just undo a separate thing so that I can have one that's untainted and I'll just put them in the same spot. There we go. And I'll say goodbye to one so that I can color the other one. So I'm going to label this color line art. I'm actually not going to color onto the line art directly. So I'll show the way that I do this. First I do control A, which is select all. Then I tap this, which selects just the lines. So this is going to look kind of wonky for a while, but basically we're going to be just coloring in just the line art. So generally the way that I color stuff is I pick a color for sort of each color, if that makes sense. So for the skin color outline, um, I'll probably do sort of a, I like to make it a nice color, but I'll make it sort of a peachy thing. I shouldn't have called that color line art because this is going to be color line art. But then what I start to do is just everywhere where it makes sense to have that color. So all the outline. Oh, shush, Barnes. I just started like a minute ago. Um, but yeah, I color in the outline for pretty much every color. So yeah, and then I move on to the next color and sometimes there's confusion because there'll be overlap or I'll color something the wrong color. For the first color that I do, I'm not too concerned about it because I know everything has to be colored in eventually. So I'll end up going on top of all this stuff. So I just do a very general outline and I'll probably end up outlining this one all in black too. So um, the outline isn't super important when it's on the outside, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Because sometimes I've done stuff and decided it didn't need a black outline. So yeah, it just depends on the picture. Okay. Um... That hand still bothers me, but uh, I guess I'm going to deal with it. Oh, did I not finish coloring in the sock? I'm a terrible artist. What have I done? I'll have to finish that after. I'll probably just color in the lines first and then finish up the sock. The sock's not like a super <laughs> crucial thing that I can't function without having it be colored in, so it'll be okay. Okay, now stuff like this is tricky because I never know what color to do the outline. I could do it either a light pink might look okay or a light of the cream color would look okay. So I'm going to try both. That's a good thing when you got two boobs, right? You can contest one color on one, one on the other. Okay, so I think it looks better... Oh, I can't tell. Let me deselect it. I think 
this one looks better. Mm, I'll try like a darker version of the cream color and see what happens. Uh, that looks kind of nice actually. Maybe if I make it a bit more gray. Let's see. Yeah, that a bit more gray. And maybe even a bit darker. Then I think that'll be the right color. But I'll just do the rest first and then take a look at it at the, at the end. When something's dark, usually I do the outline lighter than the color. Um, depends on the picture, but I think for this one I am going to do it that way. But we'll see how it looks. Oh, it's a little tricky getting into these um, really like small spaces. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it though. Alright, let me just fix. Uh, it's hard when the lines are like overlap, right? Because it's all just on one line art thing. Okay, so then I'll color this. I'll end up doing the outline of the ruffles a different color. Oh, I just went over <laughs> some of the other stuff I just did. That's fine. I'm just planning a general uh, line color here and then I'll take a look at how it looks. I always end up cleaning up this kind of art a lot at the end anyway. So then we'll go light on these. I think that'll look nice. Bloop. And then on these as well. And this is hard to say, but I'll probably do it sort of a darker version of the pink. Again, hard to say. Oh, I just colored on her there. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. And then up to here. Yeah, I think that's how I wanted. Whoa, what did I just do? Yeah, I think that's how I want that to look. You can see already it looks a lot different with the, um, the colored lines, and I think it looks a lot better, if we're being honest. I like the way that coloring in the lines looks. And I didn't even know to do that for a very long time. I used to just do my lines all one color when I did this kind of art, usually black. And, uh, nope, if you color the lines, it actually really sort of makes it a lot more interesting. Oh, I was too cold earlier and now I'm too hot, but I can feel that like I'm getting cold again. Because the problem was, well, I was cold and then I went for my walk. But then my walk ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Because I was walking down this one road and I was like, I don't know what this road is. Let's see where it leads. And it turns out the reason I didn't know where it leads is because it was a dead end. It was just like a couple blocks away too. I have no idea where my own streets are. And then it's like, well, so then I awkwardly turned around <laughs> and people seeing me walk down the street probably like uh people don't walk down this street because it doesn't lead anywhere so what is this girl doing yeah i uh i eventually got home safely and i ran into a friend at one point so we started started chatting but i didn't really want to talk for too long because i was <laughs> tired <laughs> wanted to go back home and finish my drawing <laughs> Uh, listen, I would love to chat, but I need to go and draw things. It's very important. Okay. So... I guess I'll do the outline of the socks, I guess. I think I should make it the same color as the outline of the hearts, because that seems to make sense, because they're the same color. And that's how I do this. I like the color that I chose for these. It's pretty much the color of my uh, my actual socks that look like these ones. I love those socks. I wish that it wasn't summer so I could wear them more. Because any outfit that I would wear them with now, there'd be no point because it's too hot outside. 
and the hair hair is tricky usually I also do a lighter color for the outline for the hair especially when it's black hair and I'm doing this style of art but brown hair is a little trickier to decide so I'll just try it a bit lighter and see how I like that okay well I didn't choose a color that was quite light enough I don't think which is weird because I did I did choose a color that was pretty light there but inky okay. how about that let's see mm, I look a bit darker honestly let's see let's try it darker and see how I like it computer's chugging. I can't decide. Um, I think the lighter line looks better. So I'll keep that one. But I'm really not sure. This is a tough uh, color to decide that with because it's sort of right there. Oh, but it might be too close to the color of the skin. Because see that's pretty similar right there. So I might want to do the darker. I think I'm going to do the darker then. Because I don't, when you put two like similar looking colors next to each other like this, they kind of end up looking like they're the same color and I don't want that. So yeah, darker it is then. Um, and then I need to, because I'm going to get rid of the like base line art. So what I'll do then is color in the like black of the eyes and the glasses and the eyelashes and all that. Then I'll get to work on like sort of adding some shadows and stuff into the picture. Um, and then it just sort of becomes a bunch of random stuff until the end pretty much. And mostly cleaning up the lines that I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's going to take a while too. Um, but yeah, I think I made the right choice going dark with the outline here. I think it'll look nice. So yeah, now I need to color in black for right here. And I'll do um, like a blue for the outline. And I think I want her glasses to be black as well. I might end up making them sort of a dark bright purple. That might also look nice, but I'll stick with black for right now. I know I'm messing up the lines. I'm gonna go over like all the line art again and fix it, I think. <laughs> gonna have to, because I just did a really messy job. And I'll pick sort of a dark version of her eye color. Sometimes I do the pupils that color too, which kind of makes them look like they might be blind or something, <laughs> but let's see. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so you can see it looks kind of weird. And I think the reason is because I had that open. But this at least lets you see sort of where you missed with the lines. But I did a pretty good job. So what I'm going to just do now is go through and uh, just clean up all of the lines. So like I'll start with the skin color outline and I'll try and make sure that everything's as clean as it gets. And then I'll just sort of work my way through all the different colors and try and fix it as best I can. Which probably isn't going to be that much, but all right. Oh, I did get a text message. Good. Let me just check this real quick. <clears throat> oh, I got an Instagram notification too. Oh, thank you. People liked my picture. Okay. Gotta get some water in me. And we'll keep going. So yeah, the skin outline definitely needs to be cleaned up. Sometimes I shade the outline a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to do that for this one because I think it'll look better just flat. So yeah, um, down here probably should be the skin color because that makes sense is this is like going behind the neck, so it should be colored that way. And I did a pretty good job along here. I just didn't 
color it the, I colored it the old hair color instead of the skin color. And oh yeah, I need to I can just erase this because that's not gonna matter. Continue down this way. Okay. Oh. My back's kind of sore. I think I slept on in a funny angle or something. I've been sleeping on my stomach a lot, which I don't think you're supposed to do. Especially if you have a bad back like I do. I don't officially have a bad back. I just get a lot of back pain. <laughs> I'm an unofficial member of the bad back club. So yeah, I think that's probably why my back's hurting. <laughs> it's really scary because I'll just be like, like, I was in the mall a few months ago, we were like sitting on a bench, and then I stand up from the bench and I just get, it, it felt like, it made me understand how like our spinal cord is important. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. It was like, whoa, I feel like I could be paralyzed. It was that sort of feeling. Like, I would say I wasn't paralyzed, but it was like, oh, that, that could have happened right there or something. I don't know. It was a really scary, like, pain that I had for just a second. And it didn't really come back, but it just really freaked me out. <laughs> I don't want to be paralyzed. Okay, um, I think I said I was going to clean up all of the skin, and then I definitely didn't there's still the little fingertips here and then right here and up here it's tricky like spotting all the little details that you have to have fill in but I just look at where lines meet usually and that helps sort out where the lines are supposed to be and where I need to like check if they're okay like right there, I'm glad I checked. Okay, next I'll do the color of the socks. So that's all just in this one little area. There's a little overlap up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I did a pretty good job. I had lines like coming down from it on the sketch but I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not. I might just not include them. Okay. Um, next I'll do up here, I guess, the hair. Because there's a lot of little details. I'll do the glasses very last. Since they're like the one thing that needs to go on top of everything. And... I did a pretty good job on the hair up here. I guess I did a good job fixing everything else around the hair. That's good. Oh, down here I need a little bit more. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> ah, I might need to go have a nap. Oh my gosh. It's like I said, if I don't get enough sleep, like, all at once, I'm just screwed for the entire day. I could sleep, if I ever, like, went to one of those crazy sleep schedules that other people do, like, I know there's one where it's, like, you're supposed to do a, I don't remember, it's like a 20 minute nap every two hours or something like that. If I ever did one of those, I would just die. <laughs> I would not be able to do it. I would be, like, in The Sims when... They just pass out on the floor. That would be me. I've fallen asleep on the floor many times, so it wouldn't, wouldn't be that unreasonable. But I've never, like, never fully passed out from being tired. Have passed out, though. Those have been scary, <laughs> scary things. Fainting's not fun. Uh, have I told the story? Is that this, like, trivia thing? about brains. We had all these workshops about brains. I don't remember what the guy was talking about, but he was talking about something that was really freaking me out. And I'd already, I get dehydrated really easily. 
and I could already feel that I was kind of dehydrated. And he starts talking about, so I think he was talking about like the thing that amputees get where they can still feel their arm, ghost limb or whatever. He starts talking about that and I was like, I would really like to not hear about this anymore. And I was starting to get like, I don't know, really dizzy. And then I remember just thinking, okay, you just have to like make it through this workshop and then you'll be fine. No, you don't have to worry about it anymore. And I was like, okay, I can, I can get through this workshop. So then I'm standing there and I'm like, oh God, can I do it? Can I do it? And then uh, the like signal went off for us to switch to the next workshop. And I start walking out of the room and I just like, <laughs> the next thing I do, I was passed out. And the guy who had been running the workshop was like holding me. <laughs> I was like, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> and uh, like they made sure I was alive and everything. And yeah, <laughs> that was an embarrassing uh, moment. It's not nice to pass out in front of a group of people. So then I just hung out in the hallway for the rest of the time, which was fine because I actually didn't really want to go to the workshops anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wasn't my thing. That's one thing. I've been to a lot of those little like sort of seminar things that they do for students. And of all of all the criticisms I could give to them, that's probably the most important one I would say is they should make more things optional for students because what they assume is the fun part might not be what everybody there thinks is the fun part. There should always just be like a, a place where you can go if you don't want to do the thing that they're trying to get you to do you know there should be like a a lounge available at all times where you can just go if you don't want to do the thing that would be good I should uh, be in charge of those things I'd do a good job except I just like the parts that I would think are fun I'd make mandatory too so I don't know okay How am I doing here? I think I'm pretty good. Oh, need to fix right in there. I know it looks kind of funny with the uh, line selection, but I kind of like it because it, you can kind of tell what it'll look like when it's done, but not quite. So the big like deselect is always an exciting moment when you get to finally see what it's all going to look like. So yeah, that'll be exciting. Okay. Just gotta finish up this boob and then now uh, I guess I'll move on to the other one. Okay, filling in the hearts. The purple outline um, might have looked good for the hearts, but the problem is when you're drawing in this sort of style, or at least when I'm drawing in this sort of style, what I've sort of established visually is that like things have outlines that are a close color to the things, right? And that's good. That looks nice. So when you have one thing that doesn't follow that rule, it ends up looking sort of out of place and, and funky. So because things are outlined by similar colors to the outline of the thing, I have to sort of, for the most part, do that throughout. Unless there's one part that like, I want to stand out or that happens to look nice with a different color outline. But in general, gotta keep it, gotta keep it somewhere along those lines. Okay. This is a good example of me creating unnecessary work for myself by not doing things perfectly the first time around. I could have just colored in those lines perfectly and then I wouldn't have had to do this part. But I didn't, so I'm doing this part. Okay. And yes, the top does need to be outlined in this color as well. And then the ruffles are the like light purple. 
Some will do this part. And this and that. The little bits that I left colored in. Wait, why is the color I'm using lighter? I took it from the color of the socks. Why are you lighter? Oh, I guess I did I just have it on no the lighter color was wrong okay that's what I thought but can never be sure they're so close anyway that it doesn't really matter I just I kind of like my details to be all right as much as I can okay once I'm done uh, coloring the lines, I think that's when I'll take another break, because I'd be sleepy. I thought Vox were supposed to give you more energy, but my body doesn't work that way. My body's like, no, no, you're actually going to be less energetic. You're going to be the least energetic that you've ever been in your entire life. It's like, oh, okay. I think, am I done coloring in the lines now? It looks that way. It just looks like there's a difference between this color and this color. Oh, well, I guess not though. It was all in my head. Okay, so then I'm just gonna. F um, did I did I do it all? I. I haven't decided on the lip color yet, so I'll just keep it the same. Oh, I need to finish the glasses. And I said I would do that on a separate layer, I believe. Just so I can make sure, even if I need to color over top of other things, I will know. What did I miss? Um, just so I can know that, uh... I don't know what I was talking about, so I can know that I did it. <laughs> I did the thing. Oh. Oh, I need to fix up here too. And over here. And then do the glasses. I probably should have just get the glasses on the same layer on the toe. Oh, okay. Thank you, Barney. I will go get that in a moment. Okay. On the toe. It's looking pretty complete on the toe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I filled it in later or something. I don't know. Let me just, um, yeah, I guess we'll see what this looks like now. Okay, that looks nice, I think. Uh, yeah, psych. Okay, I'll finish this part up here. I'm pretty sure I fixed this earlier, but I must have undone it because I remember already coloring this part in. <laughs> Alrighty. And then there's sort of little bits in there, but I can clean that up later. Um, there's going to be lots of little parts where the colors aren't quite right. But that's okay. I will clean it up. These always look a little shaky when you zoom up really close, but it's from a distance that so they look good. Oh, I'm glad that I fixed her leg because on the sketch, yeah, her leg was definitely too little. I'm glad I fixed that. Okay. All right. I'm going to go have a nap or something. Probably not a nap. Maybe I'll go eat or run or something. I don't know, but, uh, I will be back in a minute, so yeah. Not a minute, like a little bit. See you later.